Now reverse facings is used when you need to switch the facings on the stone. Possibly the stone um, is facing a different direction in the cemetery, or you just didn't know which side the graves were on. Um, so in this case, if he needs to be on the right and she needs to be on the left, we'll go ahead and use the reverse facings to do that. First thing you do is select everything. I'll just go ahead and double click the pick tool to do that and hit reverse facings or alt R. And as you see, Kathy now is over on the left and Ethan's over on the right. If I hit alt R again, and I can just toggle between those, you'll see how it switches back and forth. A couple things to keep in mind. Um, if there were text here, let's say I had typed in an epitaph, like mother. And I had uh, converted this text to curves. If it's converted to curves, reverse facings doesn't know that that's text, and so it will actually end up reversing the text, which is not what you want to happen. As long as the text is still text, it won't do that. Um, another thing with that, too, is if we did have... I'll just back up here and bring this back. Another example of this would be if we had text that had been fit to a path. I'll just draw a quick path here. And we'll fit that to the path. If we have text that's been fit to a path, and we try to reverse that, you'll see that it screws up the text. Um, so text that's uh, fit to path or converted to curves uh, just doesn't work the way that it should. But other than that, it's a quick way to reverse your facings. Uh, works out pretty nice. That's what reverse facings is for. Another instance where um, reverse facings may not work is if you've got text that's been fit to a path. So I'm just going to draw a quick path here. And then I will fit my text to that path. And we'll just bring it down here a little bit. And so if I uh, do reverse facings on this, it actually works out rather well. However, if I were to take my path and make it a bit crazier, so let's go down a little bit. Well, might even add in another node here. All right, so we'll just make that path a little bit crazier. And this time we'll uh, do the same thing and see what happens. And so it still worked there. Let's make it even crazier. Maybe move this along the path too. So that's actually pretty ugly. You, you probably wouldn't even do this to begin with. But if you did have it on a weird path and you reversed facings, you'll see how it mixes that up. Um, it's even reordering the the letters there on the path, which is not correct. So occasionally that's going to happen. Um, if you've got text on a path, or if you've got that text as curves, um, it's not going to reverse correctly. So those are just two things to keep in mind. However, all in all, it is a pretty good tool uh, for reversing facings quickly and easily, um, and is, is pretty simple.